Do you work on deep learning? Or do you often use PyTorch? Or if you have a fancy GPU like this one? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then you have come to the right video. My name is Rishab and well... Well, in this video, we are going to look at on how you can monitor your GPU performance, whether you are playing games with it or whether you are running some code into it. We are going to write a simple query or a simple terminal command that will help us identify all the aspects of the GPU. And we'll also see a practical example on how you can do it on your own. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon because we have some awesome content coming up. So without anything further, let's get into this. So here I have opened up Jupyter Lab and we are going to use the terminal in order to see the GPU utilization. So here I'll click on terminal and it will open up a new tab for Linux terminal. So this time terminal is a Linux based terminal. So I'm currently using AWS SageMaker and the instance that, that I'm using has eight GPUs. Now in order to see the, the utilization of each of the GPU, what we need to do is we need to run the command, which is NVIDIA hyphen SMI. Now most of you people might already be aware about NVIDIA. So NVIDIA manufactures workstation GPUs as well as gaming GPUs. And in this particular instance, we have NVIDIA workstation GPUs installed. So when I write this command and press enter, I'll see a table come up. Now at this moment, this table might feel a bit comprehensive, but we'll break it down real easily. So in the left, we have the name and the temperature. So name of the GPU is Tesla K80 and you can see all the GPUs are of the same type. Below the name, we have the temperature of each GPU. So it's 36 degrees Celsius for this particular case. Up next, we have the power draw that's 60 watt out of uh, the maximum 149 watts. In the next column, we have the memory usage of each GPU. So Tesla K80s have 11 gigs of memory and out of which we are currently using around 5 gigs of memory. And then in the next column, we have the most important thing that we want to look into. So we have the GPU utilization. Now these fields would be common for all the GPUs that we have available. So since this is an eight GPU instance, so I have GPUs available starting from zero to seven and each of the GPU has those same fields. Now, if we scroll down, we have a small table below that gives us an insight about all the processes that are being running. So here as you can see, I had ran this job like few minutes ago. So I have a process ID associated with it. And in here we have the GPU memory usage for each of the GPUs available. Now let's clear this once. So now what happens is whenever we run this command, it actually shows the GPU utilization and all the GPU attributes at that particular second. So if you can see, I have run this command at this particular time and this particular date. So this is the snapshot of that particular moment. Now, what if I want to see the utilization and all the GPU attributes again and again. I mean, as in, as in, as in some live feed. So what we need to do that, uh, we'll use another Linux command called watch. So watch what bit basically does is it will run the following command every two seconds. So if, if you write NVIDIA SMI after we have written watch and press enter, we can see that it's, it's running NVIDIA SMI command every two seconds. And you can also validate the same by looking at the clock up here. So it's getting updated every two seconds. Now the GPU utilization is currently zero because we don't have any active processes running at this moment. So now let's run some PyTorch code and see if it actually works. And we actually, if we actually see the real life update on the GPUs. So now I'm going to run this PyTorch code, which is basically an uh, auto encoder that is being trained up. And now you, you can see as soon as I ran the code, I can see the changes coming up here. So you, you can see the GPU utilization is getting reflected for each of the individual GPUs. Now the utilization might not be 100% depending on the several facts, depending on the workload that is distributed by PyTorch itself, how it's working in backend. But since I've run this code in parallel, so it's actually utilizing all the GPUs and it will train the model faster. Now to come out of this, you just need to press control C and it will break out of it. But if you want to run it again, you just have to press NVIDIA SMI that is being followed by after watch. 
okay so this was it for this video i hope you enjoyed the content so if you want to ch also check my experience uh, of the interview that i had at amazon maybe you can just check out this video up here or here could be anywhere and make sure you press like on this video if you like the content uh, try subscribing and we'll see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.